Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob here once again with another video and today we're going to be doing the review of the Necker's Halloween Kills Ultimate Michael Myers figure which obviously comes from the movie Halloween Kills which was released uh, in 2022 and I actually did uh, get to see it at the cinema which usually most of the films I usually miss uh, you know I like to see uh, some of them before they actually do come out on DVD but you know most of the time it do wait for them to come out on DVD but sometimes uh, you know I do manage to find a time to get you know get there um, and you know yeah so and it was good it was a good experience because I've never actually you know, all of the Halloween films I'd seen, uh, you know, I've never actually seen one at the cinema. So this was the first one to see in the cinema. It was, qu it was quite enjoyable, actually. I remember seeing the opening, beginning bit when it went back to 78. And I just remember being really, you know, really excited. I thought, this is not so cool, you know, uh, just to actually see a Halloween film at the cinema, you know, to get that experience. It was, you know, it was really cool, you know. Made the change from just seeing it, you know, on DVD or on the TV. And yeah, I actually, uh, I think at the beginning I d or didn't like it or liked bits of it and then did it. But actually, after watching it a couple of more times, I actually, I actually really like Kills. Um, and I think it's not only good. I think it's the, I think it's the best one out of that the new trilogy. And I, I actually think it's really fun and really cool. And there's a, there's a lot of bits that I do like at the beginning when it goes back to seventy eight flashback scene. And then you see Loomis, and then I think I like the the. The difference between they change the story you know obviously in the original one uh you know when he kills people in uh halloween you know the first one 78 you know uh gets shot out the window and then disappears and then obviously uh halloween 2 continues where he uh goes uh laura gets taken to the hospital and then obviously myers follows her to the hospital and then goes on a killing rampage obviously they change the events uh in halloween kills and i was sort of kind of like that all right it made myers look a bit weak getting arrested but it sort of you know made it a different you know different take on it and yeah i thought it was really cool and then the bit where he took out the def uh, fire department in kills and when it goes around the houses killing people and yeah i quite liked it and i think the only thing they didn't like i think they sort of ruined it when they sort of got to like sort of halfway stage or sort of like towards the end like with the last half an hour i think it's all right actually for the first hour but i think the last half an hour i think they sort of ruined it and it sort of become boring when it comes to the hospital and then they're sort of chasing uh the town's people chasing someone who wasn't even myers and they thought he was myers and it's just got it come it was a subplot battle you know evil dies tonight and everyone trying to you know, go after myers it become a bit silly uh, and it's a bit silly towards the end. Uh, but I think it's better. I did actually find it really enjoyable. I know a lot of people say about Halloween 2 2018. But I just found it a bit. Yeah. I just found it a bit boring. And just not. Not in. You know. Not really. into. I've, I've, I just find that Kills is just better. And just more fun. And it's the elements of like being like the old one. Like going back to 78. I just find it more a lot more entertaining. Um, and I think yeah, it's, it's twenty twenty eight, and it's not that just doesn't excite me, and just I don't think it, yeah, I just don't think it's fun. All right, it's all right when he goes around killing people, but yeah, I think there's a lot of bits that I don't like in it, and it's, it's a bit boring. And then Halloween ends is just quite ridiculous. I mean, Myers is all right in it, but it, uh, he's, a, he's quite weak, and there's a lot of times where he's not in it. But anyway, um, yeah, so I made this figure. Uh, it was released in 20, or was it released a year after? I'm not sure, anyway. Uh, so yeah, they, uh, NECA released that here. HQ's figure. Um, I managed to pick this up on eBay for about £25, I think. So, uh, got that. And then here's the, uh, images. See the Adam Kills, uh, movie poster, obviously. Um, and then there's a few cool images of him holding we weapons, and um, you get some good shots of him holding weapons, and obviously that mask that's damaged. And uh, now, obviously, it includes 
Uh, two knives, uh, one has got blood on and one hasn't. Then you get bat, bulb, halogen bar, or halogen bar, whatever you want to call it, halogen bar, skull mask, interchangeable head, head and hands. Uh, and yeah, there's also an image of Myers up there. Sort of like back, back in thing. So let's actually have a look at the figure. Uh, and yeah, it's typical Necker style with a, uh, you know, the Myers job, I guess, that they do in it. And they do do Myers pretty good, I guess. Uh, and yeah, so obviously the mask uh, in Kills is the one where he's sustained a bit of damage from obviously 28 from the uh, first one in that trilogy to 2018. Obviously he sustained a bit of damage uh, to the mask and it's also, you know, there's a bit of blood there, but I don't see how that would go there because, you know, it, that's his mask okay, with the blood and it's, it's from uh, one of the victims the blood got there unless it's cut and then it's cut through the mask but yeah that really makes sense because obviously that is his mask that's not his actual face uh, and then there's the damaged side of it uh, obviously because you know the end of 2018 he gets uh, in the fire or gets trapped in the house uh, and obviously it sets a light and then obviously uh, it's burn damage you would have actually expected him to get maybe more covered I, I, to be honest i don't think they did the best jobs with the mask to be honest i mean you know i mean all they did was really make you know scorch the half a side of it and sort of make his hair burn and the side of his face but you know really if you did if you'd have been trapped in a fire you know you would have, you would have completely you know got a lot more than that you wouldn't have just been that would you from being in a fire uh i mean, probably would have had the whole mask completely burnt to be honest as far as actually never sort of i think what they should have done maybe is have that side of the mask actually gone and it's sort of like just half of a mask or bit of mask and then the rest like his actual hair face and then that you know all burnt like the side of his face so it looks sort of like half mask and half but you know they decided to do yeah i don't think it's the Best effort. That's quite a, quite a minute of effort. I just thought, oh, we'll just do a little bit of burning there from where he'd been in the fire and burning on the hair, and then you know I just thought that. And then in the ends one, it's not really much different to this mask to be honest. Uh, it's just a little bit more burn and damage. Yeah, and it's not. I don't think it's much different really. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean it's. It looks pretty cool anyway. I mean, it's supposed to be from the movie anyway, so it looks pretty uh, accurate. Looks cool anyway. Does look like the one from the movie. Uh, and I just noticed a blue. Is that blue supposed to be there? Has it got blue shirt on over it? I thought he had like sort of black under it, or don't you see, or do you not actually see any? uh clothes underneath i think you usually just see the coveralls and then nothing but uh it's got some blue there hmm didn't see that before hmm has it, has it actually got blue on under that then has it got blue shirt under that maybe yes strange is it supposed to have that it doesn't look right does it has so anyone else picked up on that? Uh, when they've done previous reviews, I haven't checked. Didn't know that's right. Anyway, the bare skin underneath the mask, anyway. And then you've got the actual, obviously, the coveralls, which are obviously like dark, navy type, I guess you could say. Coveralls. I see a lot of people complaining about what colours like this, like, and complaining about, you know, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you're never going to get anything, I don't think, to be honest, completely 100% accurate. Although this does look quite accurate, it does look dark, like it's supposed to in the movie. A lot of people go, oh god, it's not dark enough, or this is not right, that's not right, and complaining about 
this, that and the other, and, you know. At the end of the day, it's just a piece of plastic, you know, it's just a figure. Uh, you know, it's not a real person. You know, some people need to just get a grip about things and just stop complaining, you know. It's a toy, it's a toy or a, well, display model, as I like to say, at the end of the day, you know. Um, and, you know, some of the stuff's good enough for me. Uh, and, yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Nice, nice job on that, Mecca did. On the coveralls. And then the trousers, looks pretty good. Next it's all the way over his body. And then black shoes. Is pretty cool. And there's some nice detail on these shoes. Or boots, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what boots they are. I don't think they were made in China. <laughs> Probably made in USA, but... Uh, yeah, uh, cool job on there, and then the hands, and I think that's hand, uh, you know, wrapped up, that's sort of damaged in, uh, during 2018. Uh, and it actually looks like he's got three fingers, did he actually, I can't remember if he's got, did he actually get some of them cut, two of his fingers cut off, I can't remember. It does look like he's got, uh, two fingers cut off. Hmm, I don't actually remember, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Movements uh, or articulation uh, is pretty much uh, usual standard movements from necker figures. Uh, move them up, down, and side to side. But yeah, it's not it's not like freely that it will move. But it's in, it's enough to sort of do, uh, pose him in sort of. Various ways of holding weapons and stuff is, you know, that's pretty much what you, all you're going to really do. Uh, and then the legs sort of, uh, well, they go a bit out. Oh, they go quite far out, actually. Probably get himself into some sort of like yoga poses. <laughs> Obviously, that's never going to happen. Uh, but, uh, yeah, oh, that's quite go far out, actually. Look at that extension on that. You do the splits almost. Wow, oh. oh, that's well, that's quite far, isn't it? Oh, do you think that go that far out? Because uh, usually it's like quite restricted, isn't it? It doesn't go that far out, but yeah, it's quite. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, you could go up and down the side to side, like pretty cool, but good actually. So it's quite good to be fair. And then there's obviously a joint in the leg. Not sure if that's. Yeah, that does seem to get much movement in that joint. Uh, but the leg's pretty good extension going outwards and inwards. And then the arms uh, go in and outwards uh, on that. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice articulation. Uh, accessories, uh, you get another head sculpt. And this one is kind of like the one he's already got. But you can actually see the eyes on this. I believe. Look. Can actually see the eyes on that. I think. And there's some detail. That. It's pretty much similar. But I think it's just the eyes you can see. Hmm. Oh, there's just big yellowing. On that side. There's no yellowing. Well, there's a bit, but not much. But yeah, I think the only difference is you can sort of see the eyes more. Hmm. Uh, and then also you get a skull mask. I believe uh, someone, one of the victims or something, was wearing in uh, kills. I can't remember which. Uh, but that's a pretty cool accessory of blood on it. thing. Uh, they get a couple of hands, extra hands. I'm not really one for changing hands and stuff. I know people go on about, oh god, there's got enough hands or there's loads of hands. You know, I mean, accessories are not really hands to be honest. I mean, you know, give a figure 20 pairs of hands, I'd rather have 20 extra weapons and stuff like that, you know. 
uh, rather than the hands. Uh, I'm not really fussy about uh, keep changing hands. Uh, just can't be bothered with all that. I'd like to just put him in, put hands in him, on him, uh, kind of hold weapons, and then I just usually leave those hands on him. I don't. I'm not really one. I just keep fussing about changing heads and hands. I usually pick a hand, pick hands. Pick a head that I'm going to use, and then I'll just keep it like that. I don't really mess about, keep swapping around, but loads of people go, oh, God, head sculpt, head sculpt this, and this. Oh, for God's sake, give it a rest. Uh, anyway, get two hands uh, tied up, obviously, from stain, some staining, uh, some damage, I guess. Uh, you get a couple of knives, gives you knives style, obviously. Uh, and you get one that's non-bloody and one that's got a bit of blood on, which looks pretty cool. And actually the handle's different as well. Uh, bloody one is brown and the uh, non-bloody non one is black. Pretty nice. Uh, but obviously we've had, we've had loads of knives, haven't we? Like this uh, in other figures, uh, Myers and Jason in particular. Uh, then you also get a bulb, which is one of those long sort of bulbs, uh, and it's got blood on the end. And I believe it did stick that in the neck of someone, one of his victims. Is it the one where you want, at the beginning where he goes to one of the houses and then uh, Myers appears and then sticks that in one of the victims' neck, I believe. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's that long bulb. It's got, the detail's quite nice there. There's the bit, I don't know if it's a bit where that's, you know, Clip that into so it comes on. There's a bit of detail at the end of that. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, uh, and then you get the uh, baseball bat, which I believe you got with a Chucky figure. Oh, my Chucky figure. I can't remember who else, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a basic baseball bat. Uh, not much detail on there at all. Well, there's no detail. It's just a baseball bat. Uh, and then you get the. Uh, Halligan uh, bar, uh, which obviously uh, he uses to take out the fire department. It just absolutely annihilates them. And then it's going to okay, take them out, which is a really good scene, I think. Uh, just coming out of that fire, emerging, uh, and then takes them out. Uh, I think that's a very, very good scene. Uh, yeah, and it's really good. Definitely a great scene that's worth watching uh, multiple times. And yeah, it's cool. Some nice cool detail in it. And yeah, so displaying wise, I think I've decided to go for that Halligan uh, 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 bar. That's, that's how I'm going to have him holding that weapon because I think that's sort of. Uh, the most distinctive look when he just comes out of that fire and he's got that elegant uh, bar ready to take out the fire department. Well, I think that's uh, uh, he's going to be displayed by uh, holding that. Uh, so that's the most distinctive look from there. I mean, it could go uh, with a knife, but I've got other Myers figures displayed with knives. So I wanted something a bit uh, different. He does hold uh, some of the weapons pretty nicely. Distinctive knife. Uh, uh, he's holding the bowl. Is holding that baseball bat ready to batter up someone. Obviously, uh, I think you use that towards the end of kills. Uh, he's, when he kills Tommy, doesn't he? Because Tommy has the baseball bat, and then obviously uh, he takes that and then obviously kills Tommy. Uh, but I'm gonna get him holding this, but I did. I did try and put this in his hand already and it's quite loose, that's the only trouble. And they gave him two hands for the right side 
instead of another hand for the left. So, you know, that's a bit silly because I need another hand uh, for the left side so I can hold the other weapon uh, better. And now it doesn't seem to. Uh, in his, well, it fits in his hand, but it's very, very loose, uh, which I'm not happy with. Uh, yeah, it seems really, really loose. Uh, he's holding it, which I want him to hold, but it's it's loose. Uh, he needed another hand. I know I've said about hands, uh, but on this occasion he did need another hand uh, to hold that more tightly. But it's quite loose. But that's how I'm going to have him uh, on display anyway, holding that. Uh, yeah, so guys, uh, I would say that this is probably... A strong mm, I'd say it's probably about an eight or a nine out of ten to be honest. Uh I would say it's a hundred percent uh best because obviously there's a few issues that I don't think uh, or could be different, but other than that it's pretty good. Uh it's got the Weapons that he uses in kills. Can't think of if there was anything else that he used. Uh, so yeah, you've got all the bits there. And yeah, it's pretty cool. As I said, apart from another hand on that side, to hold that uh, web bar a bit better. But other than that, pretty good. Yeah, so guys, that's going to be my review on this. Uh, I think it's a really good figure. I was definitely going to get it because uh, I do like kills. And that's going to be my review on it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I hope you guys are alright. And having a good Halloween, and I'll see you guys next video. Take care, bye for now, see you soon. Thanks for watching.